her blue place here and today I'm doing the never have I ever challenge and sorry for the weird lighting it's because I am in my fort so if you hear any talking in the video it's because Autumn is in the bunk above me say hi Autumn hi so she has been told to try to keep the talking to a minimum since she didn't want to do this challenge but we'll see how that goes if you've never heard of the never have I ever challenge I'm going to explain it now to find a list of questions and they are going to say certain scenarios. If I've done those things, I'm going to say I have. If I have not done them, I will say I have not. So let's get on to the video. Never have I ever injured myself trying to impress a boy I was interested in. Um, I don't think so, but I'm pretty clumsy, so I probably have, I just can't remember. So I'm gonna go with I have not. Never have I ever had to run to save my life. Well, sometimes my brother tries to attack me and I have to run enough to get away from him. But that's not really life or death, so I'm going to say I have not. Never have I ever taken part in a talent show. I have. I was in the elementary school talent show in 3rd grade and 4th grade. Never have I ever ridden an animal. Yes, I have. I have ridden a horse at like carnivals and stuff. And I have also ridden a camel. When I met Smorzy, we went to the zoo, and there was a camel you could ride there, so we rid it with her brothers. So, I have. Have I ever had a bad fall because I was walking and texting? I do this all the time. I always am walking in on my phone or walking and texting, and then I fall and trip over something and try to play it cool because I'm in public. Have I ever been arrested? I have not. But I've seen people get arrested, but I've never actually gotten arrested. That would be never have I ever gone surfing. I've not actually gone surfing on a surfboard, but I have gone, um, I have, like, gotten a boogie board and, like, stood on it and pretended I was surfing, but I've never actually gone on a surfboard or actually surfed on a wave, so, no. Never have I ever walked out of a movie, a movie because it was so bad. I have not because we don't go to the movies that often, but when we do, we all like agree on a movie that we've been wanting to see for a while. So I've never seen a movie in a movie theater I didn't want to see. Never have I ever broken a bone. I have. I broke my... I broke this wrist um, before because I was at my friend's house and he had this like treehouse thing and there was a like rope ladder to get up. And I didn't know the rope ladder was just for going up. I thought you could go down it, too. And so I started going down it, and my foot got caught, so I was, like, hanging upside down. And then when my foot loosened, got, like, loose because I was, like, struggling to get down, I fell and landed on my wrist, so I had to go home. Um, and also I broke this wrist because I was on a, sitting on a chair on a hill, and, like, it, like, tipped because it was on a hill, and it landed on my wrist. We didn't know for, like, two weeks, so I just had a broken wrist for two weeks without a cast. And also I broke this thumb recently, kind of, it was like last summer, because I was doing a handstand on my trampoline and my thumb like went the wrong way and it went like that and I broke the growth plate, which isn't really a bone, but it kind of still counts. Have I ever tried to cut my own hair? I have. When I was little I had bangs and like that kind of bangs because I wear my hair down all the time. And so I had bangs and my bangs were like that kind of around there and I tried giving myself a haircut because I was little and it ended up going like that so I just had a weird triangle in my bangs I wore a headband for most of the year to try to cover that <laughs> However, never have I ever completely forgot my lines in a play I have not I was only in a play one year and it was called the fairy tale Christmas Carol and I played Fezziwig which is like the shoemaker it was like a shoemaker person, but I'm surprised I remembered all my lines, so no, I have not because I remembered them. I didn't think I would, but I did, so that's good. Never have I ever shot a gun. Um, I've shot a BB gun at my friend's house because they have like a BB gun. I think their dad had a BB gun, and it was like at a, like, I don't remember if it was a sleepover or a birthday party, but he let us all shoot it, so 
I don't know if that counts as a gun, but it has the word gun in it and it looks like a gun, so I'm gonna say I have. <laughs> and of course like Nerf guns and stuff, but I don't think that counts. Ever have I ever had a surprise birthday party thrown for me? Um, I think I did when I was little. I think I remember hearing a story that somebody threw me a surprise birthday party when I was like three or something, and I cried the whole time because I hated it. Ever have I ever fallen in love at first sight? I ever accidentally said I love you to someone? I do that all the time. Like, I'm just on the phone with somebody, like, if my doctor calls or something, or I'm leaving a message for my parents, and I just, like, okay, I love you, bye, and then I'm like, oh, that was weird, let's just hang up and play it cool. Because, like I said, it's my parents, I'm like, love you, bye, on the phone, and, like, family members and stuff. So I accidentally said it to people on the phone that were, like, leaving a message for my parents, or, like, just talking to somebody that aren't in my family. And I've accidentally said I love you bye because I'm just so cool. Have I ever been trapped in an elevator? I have not, but there was this incident when I met Smorzy. So we were going on floor one and it was almost at floor one. I think it was like in between floor one or two and the elevator just stopped. And because somebody on the sixth floor had pressed the button, so we were so close, but it couldn't just like let us get dropped off at floor one. It had to go all the way up, so we didn't even know there was that many floors. So it just like stopped and started going straight up. So we thought that it was going to go through the roof like a Willy Wonka movie, and that we would die. We didn't end up dying, but it's a good story to tell now, I guess. <laughs> Never have I ever sung karaoke in front of people. I have at my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary all me and my cousins, mostly older cousins, but I think some of my same age and younger cousins did it too. I was like 7 or 8 or like 9 or 10. I don't know my age. I was younger than I am now. Um, and we were all singing karaoke, and I think I've done it in other times too, but that's just the only part that I remember because the pictures are all over Facebook still to this day. Because you, like, get the Facebook memory things, and they come up almost all the time. Or have I ever been so sunburned that I couldn't even wear a shirt? I have not, but I almost never get sunburned. And the first time I did, it was during the summer this year. We were at the beach, and it was, like, the sun was extremely, like not the same as it usually is. So I usually never put on sunscreen. My family usually does, but I don't because I've never gotten burned before. And... I um, never do, but I did that time, and it was really, really bad. So I could only wear, like, spaghetti strap tank tops because um, it hurt so bad to wear anything else. But it still counts as a shirt. It's like a tank top. It still counts as a shirt, so I have not. Never have I ever had a crush on a friend's parent. I have not. That would be kind of weird, I guess. That would be weird. Like... Imagine that, just like, hey, friends, dad, you looking fine. Okay, that was red. I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> never have I ever been awake for two days straight. I have because I had, like, insane insomnia, I think that is, for a while. And I couldn't sleep much. And I just, like, didn't feel like sleeping. And I was literally on Quacktopia for about two days. I've ever thrown up on a roller coaster. I have not, but that's my main fear with roller coasters. Like, whenever I don't go on a roller coaster, I'm not afraid of the roller coaster itself. I'm not afraid of getting hurt or anything. I'm just afraid I'm going to throw up on the roller coaster. So, if I don't go on a roller coaster, that's most more than likely why. Um, but I've never actually thrown up on a roller coaster, so I don't know why I'm so afraid of it, but you know, I am. So, have I ever dyed my hair a crazy color? Um, this is kind of like in between for me, I have not and I have, because I have this streak right here. It looks kind of natural, I guess, now. Like, not natural with my hair, but like it could be somebody's natural hair color, this color. But at one point it was like vibrant purple, um, but like the chlorine in a pool I went to um, dulled it a little bit. So now it's like this kind of like red kind of color. Like, you know that like people have like, what's it called? Red hair forget what it's called. Uh, ginger hair. Like ginger hair. It kind of looks like that. 
but I didn't dye my whole hair, so that's why it's partly I have not. I only did a streak, so I have because of the streak, but I have not because it's not like my full hair, so I don't know if it counts. Whatever, texted for four hours straight. I have. I've texted for way longer than that before. Oopsie. Never have I ever chipped a tooth. I have. When I was younger, it was a baby tooth. I don't even remember how I chipped it. I just remember washing my teeth one morning and being like, wait, my whole tooth isn't here. So I have. Never have I ever had a tree house. I have, but it wasn't really a house. It was more like a tree balcony because we either didn't have enough wood or something or my parents got bored. So they started building it so it was like a platform and then it had this fence thing around it. So it wasn't an actual house. It's more like a tree balcony, but I still loved it more than life itself. Have I ever thrown something into a computer or TV screen? I have not, but you know, during the floppy day ages, I have thrown things at my phone before, you know, the floppy day ages. I miss Flappy Bird. But then again, if Flappy Bird was still a thing, none of us would have phones anymore. Never have I ever read a whole novel in one day. I have, I don't even remember what it's called, I think it was like chocolate or something like that. But it was about this boy who, like, started turning into chocolate or something like that. I don't even remember the plot. I just remember I loved it so much, and it was so good, and I couldn't put it down. And I read it all in one day, and then regretted it. Because it took so long, and my teacher thought I was lying when I said I read it all day for my independent reading. Because that was, like, my independent reading book. And so I thought I was lying and didn't read it, so I immediately regretted the decision to read it all day. Or have I ever gone vegan? I have not, but I wanted to. I went to my doctor when I wanted to become vegan, and she said I'm too young to become vegan because I'm still growing and stuff, and I need milk to make my bones grow big and strong. Woo. Um, so she suggested being vegetarian instead of vegan, so that's what I am today. Never have I ever been without heat in the winter or without AC in the summer. I've done both of those things. In the winter, it was during Blizzard Nemo, I think it was. Yeah, Blizzard Nemo. And we lost all electricity and power and heat and Wi-Fi and phone service. So I remember we had to all somehow get out of the house. We didn't even have any bags or anything. And we just had to get into the car in our pajamas because it was like midnight. And we had to call my grandmother, which the phone woke her up. And we all slept in the full floor of her living room. Have I have ever gone bungee jumping. I have not, but I really want to. That's definitely on my bucket list, but I haven't done it yet, sadly. <laughs> oh well, I want to do it, but I would probably be too chicken to do it anyway when I get there and then have to be literally pushed down the bridge. Which probably would happen if you have ever met my brother. Have I ever stolen something from a restaurant? I kind of have, but like not something big. Like I went to this phase that I collected sugar from different restaurants. So I would always just be like, ooh, here's the sugar container. Let's just grab a packet and then put it in my pocket. And so I had a pocket full of sugar that I all just used on lemonade. Had an allergic reaction. I have, I had an allergic reaction to soap on my lips, and if you're wondering why I had soap on my lips, it's because me and my mom got into a fight and I talked back to her or something, I don't remember, and so she put soap into my mouth and I got an allergic reaction because of it, because apparently I was allergic to something in that particular soap. So I don't even remember what we were fighting about, but that's life lesson, never talk back to your parents. Where have I ever been in an embarrassing video that was uploaded to YouTube? Come on, we've all seen my first ever YouTube videos. My first ever YouTube video, I think it was like called Girly Girls Forever's first ever video. I can't even watch it. Like literally, I tried watching it the other day, I was just like, no, and just threw my phone across the room. And also, my most viewed video on my stinking channel is when I did a remake of Quack If You Wanna with my siblings. So I played Squishy and Stampy, and then Holly played um, the feature Squishy, and Peter was the cameraman. And I hate that video so much. And I just cringe so much every time I watch it. Just the singing, the acting, the voice, just the everything. And that has over 4,000 views. I hate it so much, just kill me!
has the most views on my channel. Like, I want to delete those videos, but then I don't at the same time because they're memories. And, like, I would have never thought that I'd get over 100 subs then. Like, little me was like, ooh, I'm just gonna create a YouTube channel and I'm just gonna, like, oh my god, I have five subs. That's what I was like. And then now I have 130 and I'm like, what? How I ever thought I was going to drown. I have because I jumped into a lake and it was a really deep one. And I touched the very bottom of the lake, and then I didn't think I would make it up in time for air. But I did, thankfully, but I was just, like, so petrified that I wouldn't during the time. Have I ever worked inside a fast food place? I have not because I'm underage to work currently, so that would be basically illegal. Or fainted. I have not, not that I can remember. I think I'd remember if I did, though, so I have not. Have I ever looked through somebody's phone without their permission? I have. I do that quite often. I look through my dad's phone because I'm bored. So that is it for the Never Have I Ever Challenge. Thank you so much for watching and keep suggesting videos for me to do in the comments. And so, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye! <laughs>